Hello viewers, today we are going to talk about the Coriolis force, which is an interesting concept in science. I will explain it in a simple way with the help of an image to illustrate the idea. The Coriolis force is uh, not a real force like gravity or friction. Rather, it is an apparent force. This means it is a force that seems to act on moving object, but it's actually caused by the rotation of Earth. So, here is the definition. An apparent force that deflects moving objects to the right in the northern hemisphere and to the left in the southern hemisphere. Now let's make this clear with the help of picture before understanding the Coriolis force. First contemplate at this simple concept. So it's uh, this one right. This one. In this image you can see an object is being rotated in a circle. The object itself is moving in a straight line but because of the rotational force it appears to move in a circular path but at each point of its rotation the object is itching to move straight you see this happens because of the external force acting on this object understood now when a meteorite right enters the atmosphere of the earth it tries to continue in a straight line right but as it moves through the rota uh, rotating atmosphere, it is deflected either to the right or to the left due to the rotation of the earth. So it may appear as if it is turning towards the northern or southern hemisphere. But it's really the rotation of the earth that causes this deflection. As uh, in the aforesaid, uh, as in the uh, above uh, example I have explained, it was the external force due to which the object was moving in a circle. Here I want to clarify one thing, the meteoroid does not move in a circle, right? But it seems to deflect due to its interference with the atmosphere of Earth. Yeah, so it was today's lecture. I hope you understood this concept. If you have any further question about this concept, you can ask me. If you find this lecture informative, so please, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.